But on purpose, God chose to start the day in the dark. The dark is not a sign that God is not working, that he didn't hear your prayer. And the moment you pray, the tide of the battle turns. I want to talk to you today about victory begins in the dark. The book of Genesis starts off telling how God created everything. It says the evening and the morning were the first day. You would think it would be the reverse. The morning and the evening were the first day, but God starts the day in the dark. At 12 a.m., nothing looks any different. If you didn't have a watch, you wouldn't know you've entered a new day. It's still dark outside. It looks the same as it did at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at 11 o'clock. There's no sign that something has changed. But when the clock strikes midnight, in that one second, when nothing looks any different, it goes from p.m. to a.m. It's still dark, but it's a new day. It would make more sense if God started the day in the light. When the sun came up at six or seven in the morning, when the dawn breaks, the light comes, then it's obvious we would know it's a new day. We can see it. Things have changed. We hear the birds start chirping. The sun comes over the horizon. We have all this evidence that we've entered a new day. But on purpose, God chose to start the day in the dark. It's symbolic of how he does things in our lives. He gives us a promise. He says we've come into a new day. He's restoring health back into us. We're going to lend and not borrow. Our child is going to get back on course. We believe, we pray, we stand in faith, but nothing is changing. Nothing looks any different. Nothing feels any different. Still dark outside. Joel, my back is still hurting. My business hasn't grown. My health hasn't improved. This is what faith is all about. You can't see it, but you have to know you passed midnight. You've gone from p.m. to a.m. Yes, it's still dark outside. Yes, nothing has changed, but the sun is on its way up. Healing is on the horizon. Promotion, freedom, the right people. It's just a matter of time before you see the light come breaking forth. And don't be discouraged by the dark. The dark doesn't mean nothing has changed. The dark is not a sign that God is not working, that he didn't hear your prayer. Thoughts will tell you, you would have seen something by now. You would feel a little better. One of those companies would have called you back. That addiction wouldn't be this strong. You have to walk by faith and not by sight. If you walk by sight, you'll talk yourself out of it because 1130 at night doesn't look any different than midnight. Everything you can see, feel, touch, smell looks just the same. There's no evidence that it's a new day. But the psalmist said, the moment you pray, the tide of the battle turns. You can't see it, but when you prayed, you left the p.m. and you came into a.m. It's a new day. You may not be able to see any sign of it. That's okay. Victory begins in the dark. The dark means the sun is on the way up. The promise is about to come forth. Who can stop the sun from rising each morning? Who can keep light from breaking forth over the horizon? All the forces of darkness cannot stop what God has ordained for you. They cannot keep what he promised from coming to pass. In the face of that darkness, when you don't see any light, get in agreement with God. Father, thank you that it's a new day. It may be still dark out, but I don't go by what I see. I go by what I know. And I know that I passed midnight. That means my healing is coming. My breakthrough is coming. My abundance is coming. My victory is coming. When you realize God starts with darkness to bring about new things in our life, then you won't get discouraged by the darkness. You'll thank him in the middle of the darkness. You'll praise him despite what's trying to stop you. This is what Paul and Silas did. They were put in prison for sharing their faith. The religious leaders, the Sadducees, they didn't like them. They accused them of causing a disturbance. And they were in the deepest part of the dungeon to make sure they couldn't escape. But God won't let you get in a problem that he can't bring you out of. If that difficulty was going to stop your destiny, God wouldn't have allowed it. 
It may seem too big for you. You could never overcome it, but it's not too big for our God. He already has the solution. That trouble can't keep you from your purpose. That setback in your finances, the anxiety, the depression is not permanent. It may be dark now. You've had some bad breaks or you brought trouble on yourself. You think you're stuck. No, get ready. God is not through with you. What he ordained for your life will come to pass. That difficulty is a setup for him to show out in your life. You may have areas where it feels dark right now. Nothing is changing. That's a test. Will you praise him in the dark? Will you thank him that what he promised is on the way? Will you talk like it's going to turn around? Believe that healing is coming, even though the medical report isn't improving? Don't go by what you feel. Your feelings don't always tell you the truth. Your emotions will try to convince you that it's never going to work out. Your mind will tell you all the reasons it's not going to happen. Look how big those obstacles are. A walk by faith. Father, thank you that I've come into my midnight, that it's a new day. It may still be dark out, but I know you start the day in the dark. I know that means light is on the way. Keep a song of praise in your heart. Well, Joel, I've been doing this a long time. I don't understand why nothing is changing. God's timing is not our timing. Keep doing the right thing. You're in a new day. You pass midnight. It may be three in the morning. You have a few more hours, so to speak, before the sun comes up. I've learned the longer it's taking, the better it's going to be. God is getting you prepared for the blessing he's already prepared for you. And when it's taking a long time, that's because the blessing is bigger than you can handle right now. A lot of times in our difficulties, we call people, call friends, call relatives, call experts, and that's all fine. But make sure you call out to God. Ask him to help you. He created the universe. He flung stars into place. He has all power. You don't have to beg him. You don't have to plead with him. He's longing to be good to you. The scripture says it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Just ask in faith for what he's already promised. One of the most powerful things we can do is take God's word to him. Remind him what he said. Father, you said you would restore health back unto me. Lord, I'm asking for your healing. I'm asking you to do what medicine cannot do. Take his word and pray bold prayers. Father, you said my children will be mighty in the land. I'm asking you to free them from this addiction. Take away these wrong friends. Help them to fulfill their destiny. Oh, Father, you said I would prosper and be in good health that I would lend and not borrow, that you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, my provider. So Lord, I'm asking you to supply all of my needs, make rivers in the desert, give me overflow so I can be a bigger blessing. Instead of complaining about the dark, being discouraged by the dark, have a new perspective. The dark means light is coming. Now do your part, start praising him in the dark. Start thanking him that things are changing in your favor. Don't be moved by what you see. 1130 at night doesn't look any different than midnight, but midnight is a new day. God is saying the clock has ticked in your favor. You pass midnight. Things may not look any different yet. Don't worry, light is on the way. The sun has never once not come up. God has never once not made good on his promises. It may not happen on our timetable or the way we thought, but I can assure you the sun is going to come up in your life. You wouldn't be alive if God didn't have something amazing in your future. God is faithful. What he promised you, he's going to bring to pass. In the scripture, Job went through a dark time. Everything was going great. Life was good. Then the bottom fell out. He lost his health, lost his family, lost his business. Didn't seem fair. The scripture says Job was the most righteous man of his day. You would think he wouldn't have any dark seasons. He wouldn't have to deal with disappointments, bad breaks. But life happens to us all. Rain falls on the just and the unjust. The difference with the just, 
with people like you, people that honor God, is God promises to take what was meant for harm and turn it for your good. There may be dark seasons, but if you'll stay in faith and not get bitter, God won't just bring you out. He'll bring you out better than you were before. He'll make the enemy pay for bringing that trouble. I've heard it said, what if the darkness you're going through is not the darkness of the tomb, but the darkness of the womb? the darkness that precedes God doing something amazing in your life. You're not in the darkness of the tomb. Have a new perspective. You're in the darkness of the womb. God is about to do something that you haven't seen. You're going to discover talent that you didn't know you had. That person that broke your heart, walked out on you, they didn't stop your destiny. You're about to meet someone better than you've ever imagined. That dark time is not wasted. God is using it to birth something that you could have never experienced without it. Job went through this dark season, but that's not where he ended. The scripture says God restored back to Job twice what he had before. He was more blessed in the second part of his life than he was the first. Yes, it was dark, but when the sun rose up, he came out with double. Don't believe those lies that the darkness is permanent. It's never going to change. That darkness is a sign that double is coming. The sun is going to rise in your life again. You're going to see the goodness of God in ways you've never seen. He's breathing in your direction right now. In the unseen realm, things are changing in your favor. Forces of darkness are being pushed back. The right breaks are headed your way. He's going to make things happen that you couldn't make happen. You're going to know it was the hand of God. My challenge, trust him in the dark. You may not see anything improving. That's okay. Walk by faith and not by sight. If you'll do this, I believe and declare God is about to turn your mourning into dancing, your sadness into joy. Like Job, you're going to come out restored, promoted, healthy, free, better than you were before in Jesus' name. I'd like to give you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Would you pray with me? Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. 